Hi there, everyone. This is Bruce Gordon. I'm the host of the yellow, uh, co-host of tonight's webinar. And um, I'm also the co-chair of uh, this program. I'm from Seaboard Region FJMC, as you might be able to surmise. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We have a lot of uh, items to cover here tonight. And we're gonna talk about uh, running up the Sadaka score. Uh, we got to meet uh, Henry Leopold earlier this evening, uh, and it was great that he could join us. And um, yes, Bruce, and uh, I'm recording this though. And uh, he's concerned about raising enough money or having a successful program, getting volunteers. What we're going to go over tonight are uh, all the ingredients that you need to be successful and to make sure that you, your uh, uh, Sadaka exceeds your costs. If you use these best practices, I promise you, and others on the call too, it will promise you that your uh, Sadaka will exceed your uh, cost. We have a lot to cover here tonight, but uh, you know, some of us have been doing this for a long, long time. Uh, our uh, president and Tom, our first vice president. And, um, but if you see this between that, you see that little head at the bottom between the M and the X, that's Alan Gottesman in 2013. And he uh, led, was one of the leaders of the March of the Living. He's passionate about this work. Alan, please share with us why you do this each and every year. I have nothing else to do. No, no. 2003 March of the Living from uh, Broward in Dade County in Florida. It was one of the only years that uh, both Dade and Broward pulled out of the march. And um, they were going to cancel the March of the Living. And I said, look, I'm a CPA. Yoma Shoah doesn't happen after tax season very often. How about if we put a bus together, we can go with another group and we ended up doing, we put a bus together um, and we ended up going on the March of the Living with the Philadelphia, Northern Philly group. And, uh, it was absolutely incredible. My late father was a Holocaust survivor. His number was from Auschwitz. So I ended up getting stuck in New York for a day. That's another story, but I ended up getting to the March of the Living, um, going through Auschwitz and actually had a private tour with our bus captain because they, I got there late and um, it was really, really, absolutely, really uh, eerie and amazing. Um, because my dad always, my late father always talked about the, the camps and uh, the few that he, the three or four that he was in. But until you go there and see it, um, it, it was absolutely incredible. The size, the enormity of the camps is unbelievable. They're in the city. Um, we did uh, Medonic, uh, Birkenau, Auschwitz, and Treblinka. Uh, and the Warsaw Ghetto, and then we went to Israel for a week. Um, absolutely incredible. So being a child of a Holocaust survivor, um, it's just part of my being. Look, the survivors now, it's 70 years or so from the Holocaust. So even the youngest survivors are 87, 88, 89. They're not going to be around with us much longer. And it's going to be up to us, the second generation, to really promulgate the, the Holocaust and make sure people don't forget you know, unfortunately, um, you know, the, what happened in uh, Virginia a few months ago, today is 2017, and there's still anti-Semitism, racist, bigots. I personally don't get it, but they're still around. And soon the Holocaust is just going to be like World War II, World War I, you know, the Civil War. It's just going to be in a textbook, and the kids aren't going to have any idea and get to the norm the enormity or enormality of it how big how huge how absolutely mind-boggling it is when you walk into a camp like Auschwitz is a museum but if you go to Medonic which could be actually a working camp the crematoria is in perfect condition the uh, uh, gas chambers are in perfect condition and you walk into one of the cabins or bunks or barracks whatever you want to call it it is so dark, you can't see to the other end of the cabin. It's so big, and it's just filled with shoes. And you can smell them, and you can see them, and there's baby shoes, and red shoes, and dancing shoes, and party shoes, and work shoes. And you know that each one of those belonged to somebody, that 
was just annihilated and exterminated in one of the most inhumane genocides that has ever happened. And it's going to be up to us. And hopefully, you know, Yom HaShoah started by two individuals, the, the candles, started by two individuals, one in Boston and one in Toronto. And FJMC saw that it was like, oh, this could really make an impact. We kind of took over the program and have been putting it out. Um, you know, the, 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 the wording never again is just so, so true. Um, and we have to make sure that people are aware of it. And one of the ways is the yellow candle to remind us of the yellow star. We've changed the, the candles uh, about six years ago. Um, we had the same candle for about 10, which was our picture from uh, Auschwitz and Birkenau, which had children and, and adults, older people, young people. It showed kind of like the rebirth and that, you know, it kind of gives me unbelievable feeling when I light the candle and call my daughter and grandkids in and there's three generations lighting the candle. And this is what Hitler tried to have destroyed was that legacy of family and Jewishness. And we're still around, still moving forward, still doing the Torah, still lighting the candles. And if we follow the FJMC program guide, it's really pretty well fails proof that you should get enough contributions to cover the cost, as well as make a few dollars to put into a, either a Yom HaShoah fund, the March of the Living fund. Um, some synagogues and clubs take their kids to the Holocaust Museum. It's just that, you know, we need to make sure that um, we tell the right story and the correct story of the Holocaust. Great, Alan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, you. A, few, uh, a few more ground rules here, gentlemen. Uh, if you have a comment, please use the chat. Our chair, uh, Greg Gore, will be watching the chat. And, and, and we also have uh, Steve Sherman from uh, MAR West. Uh, I've muted you, Steve. I can unmute you. I will keep this noise out. But he, he's my Zoom conscience. And Greg's just my general conscience. So the, these two gentlemen have... Uh, interruption privileges, and I'm grateful for uh, um, the privilege of leading you here tonight. And uh, if I cut you short, please take no offense. So please take no offense. We have a lot of ground to cover. And with that said, I'm going to introduce you to my very de dear friend and mentor and our chair. And this is uh, Greg Gore. Greg, please offer your comments. Uh, thanks. Uh and it's 10 o'clock for the Eastern time. So uh, uh, just, you know, down by 10. And Alan, uh, thank you so much. It's great to see our, our media past uh, international president here uh, and joining us in this very important, uh, important uh, mission. And for those of you who don't know, we have the current international president there, uh, uh, Stan Greenspan and uh, Tom Sudo is our first, first uh, uh, Vice President, Chris, Vice President. So thank, thank them. I thank you all for coming. I'm going to be real brief. The store is open. The Yellow Candle store is open. You are, and we need to encourage everyone to go out and push candles. The guide, the, it's been updated. It's been brilliantly done by uh, Norman Marins of the uh, Midwestern region. Who couldn't be with us tonight? Something about the Cubs playing. In the, in the playoffs, but go go to the uh, FJMC webpage. We are now in the lower left-hand corner. We have uh, the honor roll and uh, talk about that a little bit later, but there are many places to click on the front page to get to the yellow candle page and get to the order form. If you got questions about ordering, Bob Weinstein, Colonel Candle, contact information is there. Feel free to reach out to him. So Bruce, I think that's enough for the time being. Uh, great, great, Greg. Thank you. Thank you for your leadership. And let's let me just discuss briefly why we're running up the Sadaka score. My about nine years ago, uh, as a club president, I uh, initiated the general uh, distribution of candles in my synagogue. The executive director said, "Oh, this is horrible. You're trying to make money on the Holocaust." Well, guess what, guys? Nothing could be further from the truth. What, what we're doing is making sure, as Alan so elegantly described, that the Holocaust is never forgotten. And with the Sadaka that we generate, and we're gonna coach you up here, guys, and how to get the Sadaka, 
Well, we're going to uh, apply that towards making sure that uh, uh, Jewry is perpetual and does not die. Okay, tonight uh, we've already had our why for ordering yellow candles, and our uh, chair has encouraged us to uh, uh, order early and more. That's important. We're going to recap the best practices that's being recorded. We need to share this with others. Uh, uh, we have David Fryman from Shari Torah uh, here in Seaboard. Uh, he's been in the program just since 2014, and he's going to teach us how to get a corporate sponsorship. Their small school uh, uh, generates $5,000 a year in Sadaka for just the Holocaust survivors. And uh, you can see the rest of the agenda. We also have programs for regions. That's a new market that we're going to expand. It's something we're doing in Seaboard. Uh, and we're going to teach you, Danny Mandel and I are going to teach you how to ask for the money. There's a way to do this. And, uh, and then Greg's going to finish up about our, our honor roll. And we want all of you to join uh, us in the Diamond Club. And you'll learn more about that. And of course, we can't have a meeting without uh, being introduced to Colonel Candle, who's the lifeblood of this program. With that in mind, let us get moving here, gentlemen. Um, Vital Clubs distribute show, show yellow candles, the FJMC candle, to all their clubs, uh, to all their uh, units in their congregation. Um, it's a great way to uh, build your membership. Uh, you can uh, have someone spend a half an hour helping you pack candles, or if you're doing delivery, take an hour and a half and deliver the candles. It gives them a great feeling and it shows their value in the community. And one thing that uh, all men like, and one of the beautiful things about the candle program, it's quantifiable. You, you know how much you spend, you know how much you take in. It's all quantifiable. You could compare from year to year. And I, and, and I know for those of you on the, our meeting tonight, it's exciting for you to keep score. Uh, also, it's a means for building your club and building the succession of your club or even your region. The chair and co-chair structure uh, uh, is how you train your next leaders. And, and then they, uh, these men become acclimated to the community and your club. And ultimately, will they'll assume club leadership. What can you do, donate with your Sadaka? Uh, I had this conversation with David Fryman earlier and anything that perpetuates jewelry. And what we're gonna learn here shortly and, uh, uh, is that uh, uh, if the rabbi, uh, whatever re cause the rabbi wants, that's a good cause. But if we're gonna help our friends in Uganda or as we do off, off very often here in Seaboard, our, uh, Indigent Holocaust survivors, these are all great causes. But the best uh, cause is the one your rabbi selects. He will be your best salesman. So get with your rabbi and get with him early. Now, I promised you we're going to have a very special guest star here tonight. And I got a wonderful call from uh, my uh, a good friend, Marty Melnick in Connecticut Valley. Marty, are you unmuted? Do I need to? I am now. Okay, good. Marty, um, let's see. I, I hate to stop sharing the screen, but I will. Okay, Marty, go ahead. Let's, let's let them see your handsome face and tell us about what you did with your uh, 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 letters. All right. So what I want to share is a very powerful marketing concept that we've been working on in Connecticut Valley, uh, and that is a, a two-letter concept. We do a rabbi letter, and the, and the timing is really, really important. We do it six weeks before we deliver the candles. The six-week period is really critical because most congregants write donation checks once a month, and by separating it by six weeks, they're writing a donation check off the rabbi letter, and then when you deliver your candles, that's in another check writing period, and we're finding that we have a significant number of congregants writing donations twice to help support our, our candle program. The rabbi letter uh, talks about, you know, connects with the congregants regarding Yom HaShoah, and the reason for donating because of Yom HaShoah, and our specific charity. Our specific charity is we do scholarships for 
uh, Camp Ramah, and Camp Ramah is generating the future leader of Jewish uh, connections with Jewish youth. And then our, our letter within the box is signed by our temple president and our men's club president. So there's two other influencers within the synagogue just asking for donations. Uh, we did an experiment this year. We started this because our club was complaining we were breaking even and we're putting all this work in. We're not making any money. We're not creating donations for Camp Ramah. And when we started this program, we started making money and we started contributing money to Camp Ramah. Uh, this past year, we, because of timing, we didn't do it for the first time in five years. And we had a direct $1,000 decrease in, in our donations because we didn't do the two letters. That's great, Marty. So I really appreciate you sharing that. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to, if those of you, uh, uh, he's just an incredible resource for the program. So thank you so much, Marty. And what he also illustrated, gentlemen, is that he, he gets other opinion leaders involved. He's got the congregation president. There, uh, now, other things that you can do include service announcements uh, at events. And we're gonna, and Danny Mando and I are going to teach you how to uh, 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 make the most of the event. Um, okay. You have to plan your work and work your plan. And it, at the, on the last call, and he, and thank God he's on this call, Michael Weisel, he detailed in uh, detail about all the events you need to do. Uh, we'll have the, Greg is going to post this on the uh, Yellow Candle website, but you'll see an example of timelines. You need to post your timelines. Uh, later uh, this evening, David Fryman will show you an illustration of timelines for the uh, uh, sponsorship program. Uh, so choose your delivery method, schedule accordingly. Have a show related event before Yoma Shoa. Uh, there is uh, Irene Weiss, she's a powerful speaker. When uh, Bob Watts, who's on our call, uh, had a brunch during his tenure as club president, he invited Irene Weiss to speak. It was very powerful. Uh, at the end of that, um, to make the most of that, you, you need to ask the participants to support your cause. Uh, again, Danny, I will show you that. Uh, observe Yoma Shoah. Make sure that people have a good observance plan. These candles need to be burnt to be used. If you have leftover candles, do not hoard your candles. Uh, one thing that we do here at our local club is we give the candles to the Hillel at uh, 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 George Mason University. You can build bridges with uh, churches in your neighborhood. That's something that's been done elsewhere. Uh, to publicize in various media. Uh, a, a very sound marketing principle is the hierarchy of effects. People will not act until they hear something or get the message six times. Be very cognizant of that, gentlemen. You need to uh, get your message out. If you wait until the very end, uh, you've gotten your candles and all of a sudden there's a last minute announcement, it's not on folks' radar screen have a uh, at least one Yomo show event. If you have two, that's even better. On the uh, In the uh, program guide, you'll see it recommended that you have an event after Yomo Shoa. Okay. Uh, get youth involved. They're our future. The, and this is a beautiful picture uh, from here in Seaboard. Uh, they, these two young people did their first year one delivery I think they have a lifetime of observance. That's the whole point of what we're doing, gentlemen. We, this needs to live on. We need to commemorate the Holocaust after uh, the survivors and all of us are gone. They're doing a very good job over there in Montgomery County, getting their young people involved. And uh, we have a compelling story about this candle. It's, and it really just illustrates what I just said. How are we going, what's going to happen after all the uh, witnesses and survivors are gone. We're getting there, you guys. It's been over 70, I think about 70 something years since the Holocaust. 
uh, the, the surviving uh, survivors are uh, were children and they're old now. It's up to us. So, and this, so talk about the meaning of the candle. Uh, we're going to detail this uh, very well for you shortly. Uh, David Fryman is going to teach us how he got a sponsorship from uh, Fitzgerald uh, Auto. Uh, but there's other uh, donors. Uh, most uh, uh, sponsors are funeral homes. Uh, I've heard of generous congregants. Maybe they're a child of a survivor. They fund, underwrite the program. If you can, or you can get several uh, donors underwriting your program, and then that way your program, uh, the Sadaka, all goes towards your cause, perpetuating jewelry. Hopefully, something you've uh, gotten from the, your rabbi. Now, do you mail or do you deliver? Well, in December, we, we have a couple of men on our call now. They're going to teach us the ins and outs of both. But, uh, you know, if you have a lot of folks that are far away and it's just you're too uh, spread out, mailing may be the way, way to go. Often those who deliver to continuous zip codes uh, still mail to get the snowbirds or people that uh, live too far away from the synagogue. Uh, what we've noticed with the delivery, it's high touch. It, it creates more sadaka. It, it actually creates more community. You get people involved, the more involved with your club, it's a, again, it's a way to uh, get new members. Another approach at uh, large uh, congregations where it's perhaps they feel that it's just unmanageable. Uh, we have a, a congregation here in a Seaboard that totals uh, 2,000 families. Uh, when they mail to all their congregants, they just lost a lot of money. Uh, what they did instead was, and then they got out of the program entirely. What they did instead was, uh, uh, since they're such an active uh, synagogue, they uh, uh, bring candles to the various events, which are many. They purchase about 10 to 12 cases every year and they uh, uh, distribute the candles at the events. It beats doing nothing and they uh, give a four figure sum to uh, just the Holocaust survivors for their efforts. So that's great. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, we can visit the Yellow Candle website. I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna stop this share and show you a few highlights. Uh, due to Greg's and Norwin's great work, we got the new program guide on the uh, website. This is where you want to be. Here's the new program guide. Who's just not showing? Okay, thank you. Now, just go. Just go to www.fjmc.org, and you'll find the yellow candle page. Yeah, and, and on that last page. Yeah, the uh, uh, here, guys. But um, um, we'll go back to the presentation. But you'll find the uh, a guide on the uh, screen. Alan's showing it up front, and like that. Okay, but you there. You'll find the program guide at the bottom there. Uh, the most important. Uh, uh, slide on the screen or just a website where you can get a hold of Bob Weinstein Colonel Candle. And uh, and we also have a Facebook page. And uh, on that Facebook page, uh, we, we have comments, there's education. Eric Weiss makes very nice uh, 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 educational articles. Uh, in time, I want all of you to uh, get busy with the Facebook page, share uh, share ideas, you can send your ideas to either Greg or myself or Eric, and we'll post them for you, or you can post them yourself. But let's see, uh, we have about 256 uh, people liking it. We need more. So get uh, please visit the Facebook page. And uh, now here's a beautiful booth. This is a beautiful booth. Uh, this is Bob Weinstein at the uh, and me at the uh, uh, convention in Danvers. And uh, um, uh, one of the beautiful things about doing this work is you get close. This is back in 2013. 
ever since I've been doing this program, I've been good friends with Bob, and I think many of you will become, have that privilege too. Call him, learn from him. He won't lead you uh, wrong, he, I promise you. Now, with no further ado, I'm going to introduce to you uh, David Fryman, who created, uh, who, who was uh, the Seaboard Focal, and he, where he learned about uh, 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 sponsorships. He made his own. He um, uh, instead of he did not want to do a, a, a funeral home. But now, I'm, perhaps I'm stealing the thunder. I'll let him explain that. But what's important to know about David? and his club, Shari Torres, that they entered the candle program through the region's forgivable loan program. And they wouldn't, they, and he wouldn't have had the political clout to do that otherwise. We're gonna cover that afterwards. But uh, with no further ado, David, are you unmuted? I'm good to go. Okay, got, you got the floor, David. That right, sounds good. Good evening, everybody. Uh, so just to kind of give you a background, uh, you know, Bruce stole my thunder a little bit, but, uh, you know, uh, we, we, had, uh, we had created this program based on really Bruce's encouragement when he was uh, Seaboard president. Uh, prior to that, we had a program that was borderline non-existent, um, and Bruce came in and challenged us. He said, you guys come up with a plan to kickstart your program, and we'll fund it. Because at that time, our men's club had like a thousand dollars in the bank, so it really wasn't a it wasn't something we were going to undertake to give out candles to everyone in the community and to really build our program uh, until we got this loan. Um, and so for two years, we delivered candles. We kind of we created a program. We got a brand around it, and uh, we got support of the rabbi, and we proved that we could do it. And at the end of the day, we were able to cover our costs and give a thousand dollars to the Jessa Holocaust Survivors Fund. The, the first two years we were able to, so it was the first two years we were able to contribute a thousand dollars each year. For the third year, I I really brainstormed on how we could how we could grow the program, if not just grow the effect of the program, grow the tzedakah. And I'd heard that some groups had used some some clubs had used um, corporate sponsorships from uh, from funeral homes, but as part of our program, we 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 were inviting these ninety year old. Holocaust survivors to come to our shore to talk about their experience. And I didn't feel right saying, brought to you by such and such funeral home. It didn't, didn't ring, didn't sit well with me. Um, so we, we just brainstormed a couple of, of businesses in the area that we thought may, may be willing to uh, contribute. And I realized, hey, I got my car from Fitzgerald. The guy on the commercial seems really nice. Um, so I did a little internet research and found out who was in charge of their uh, corporate giving. And I emailed him and I sent a letter that um, it's somewhere in here. I'm not sure the order of all these slides. Um, well, you, you, to let folks know when you did this, please, David. Okay. So this was, oh, hell on the year. Uh, so this would be our third year. So. No, I mean, I, David, I've turned to the timelines. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So this was a, kind of a November idea. Uh, we recognized that we needed to get on it uh, because these guys all have budgets that they're they're looking to spend on on their um, uh, on, on their donations. So uh, we emailed, we sent the letter um, or made contact first, um, and then sent an official request letter. Um, I believe we sent it in November after the date. Uh, but the idea is that as as soon as you can, and whether you use my timeline or not, at the end of the day, you know. The, the, the message that I have for you is to plan ahead um, because we, we ended up asking them for $4,000 and we received it. Um, but that's, at the end of the day, that's, that's some serious money. Maybe not for the amount of money that a local car company uh, spends on advertising in a given year, but it's, it's significant money. So, you know, we, we need to make sure that we give them a heads up um, as they close out their, their year. Um, so we, we asked for this money and, and the, the question that I often get is, how did you come up with $4,000? And the answer is, I made it up. Um, I thought $4,000 is a serious amount of money, but it's not crazy. That 5,000 was just too round of a number. And that I said, if we went with 4,000, it would, it would appear that we're a serious business, which I think we are. And, um, and it also would, 
four thousand dollars has helped to to balloon our impact. So with that money, uh, the first thing that we were able to do is increase the PR for our our event, and and this is something that um, I think is on is in March or sorry February on on my timeline. Uh, we created you know in addition to our Facebook posts and the emails that we sent out, we uh, engaged a graphic designer that our synagogue has on retainer. Um, and we engaged her to create a postcard for us or to, to create a, a, sorry, a graphic that went, that we ended up putting on a postcard and we sent to every uh, congregant in our uh, congregation with the idea that, you know, maybe more people would show up if we were able to fully um, or to, to more, to be better at PR, let's just say that. Um, and really the first couple of years that we, we had our program, uh, we had a number of donations, but to our event that we had, we maybe had 15 adults. You know, we had 50 or 60 children, but we had, you know, 15, 20 adults. And that was always disappointing for me. So with this money that we got from Fitzgerald, we were able to up our game in PR and we had close to a hundred people, hundred adults at our event last year. Uh, it really has, has ballooned interest in not just our club, obviously, and also giving the Sadaka, but an interest in our club and it's really legitimized us uh you know in the face the face of the uh in, in the, to the congregation um you know and it just goes back to that forgivable loan that we got from from seaboard all those years ago uh which really jump-started our efforts and really just jump-started our club i i can't i guess i can't stress enough that that this corporate sponsorship idea is something you really have to take a look at doing if you already have uh, an established program, why not take this next step and see if you can't get an infusion of funds that's covered, covered again, all of our costs. And on top of that too, it, it freed up a couple, a few extra thousand dollars that we were able to then donate, uh, you know, to the survivors. Um, and it is frankly, it's just, just too easy not to do. Wonderful work, David. And then also we're going to post, this isn't legible, but, uh, we're going to add some letters to the website. I might also add, in the early days when David was a uh, 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 and his, and Charlie Tour Men's Club were the, the benefit were on the receiving end of the loan, he was very careful to use the resources on the Yellow Candle website, the rabbi's letter, the uh, uh, that he that goes out to the uh, congregants right before the event. He pulled that off the website. And we're going to add some more uh, letters that have worked. Obviously, this letter works, so this is going on the website. Wonderful work, David. And um, now um, we're going to move on, but thank you so much, David. Uh, we're going to move on to the next phase, and that is at an event, uh, you need to give an, an impassioned plea. I mean, so after at this uh, uh, brunch or where the Holocaust survivor speaks, uh, at the very end, you tell the story and you ask people to join you in and and supporting the cause. Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to deliver my impassioned plea. Then I'm going to call on uh, Danny to deliver his. Um, we all know that the Holocaust happened and was terrible and it, it really devastated Jewish people. Six million people were lost. And it, it's now many years in the future, we're losing many of our survivors and witnesses. How can we be sure that the, uh, uh, this is never forgotten? Well, the work that we're doing at these yellow candles is a physical way in which we can make sure the Holocaust is never forgotten it's like turkeys at Thanksgiving, dreidels at Hanukkah. Uh, we need to uh, make the yellow candle, this yellow candle, part of every Yom HaShoah. Please, please join me in just giving a little bit. Uh, last year, we were able to provide $1,500 to uh, help a shliha, a young lady from Israel, uh, bring her grace to our community and so it connect us with the of Israel. In addition to another thousand dollars to help indigent uh, Holocaust survivors, join me. Uh, Eighteen dollars symbolizes high or life. Where they tried to put us down, we will uh, persevere. Danny, in passion, please. Danny Mandel, 
I'm going to unmute you, Danny. All right. Uh, Danny Mandel is our sales manager. He's a major reason why there's so many of you joining us here this evening. Danny, uh, please give us your impact and play. Well, two things. Can you guys hear me? We're doing this year here in, um, in my club. because Danny, Danny, in passion yes. play. We got to stay on right. in passion play. I, I am, I am, I am. Let okay. me just tell you why I'm telling you this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think by the time we do Yom HaShoah, I came to realize that it's too late. So we're actually going to have smaller events during the year with Yom HaShoah. Uh, with Holocaust themes. And every time we're going to have a Holocaust event with our first meeting next Monday, we're going I'm going to, and we're going to talk about the candles, the meaning, the meaning of Shoah, and what, what the theme is this year is Charlottesville. I mean, it, and, and Alan said it before, it's, it's happening again. It's, it's unbelievable. How can we let that happen? And this is one way of not letting that happen. This is a manifestation, this is a physical reminder. But don't, I don't think we should wait till, till April, till Yom HaShoah. Do it now, keep it in front of us all year round. Yes, Yom HaShoah, the whole day, it's one day, but we need to remember every day. And as a child of survivor, it's very, very important. And just look at the news and look what's happening. Just think Charlottesville. Thank you. Danny, that was beautiful. Thank you. Forgive me for interrupting you. That was beautiful. Thank you. And others, now for regions, uh, we have a number of region officers on the call, and I'm grateful for that. Um, one of the things we do here in Seaboard is that we have area-wide exhibitions just put on by an organization called the Greater uh, Jewish, uh, uh, the Greater Washington Jewish Community Relations Council. We've been doing this for four years, uh, and we have booths at each event. Uh, we distribute roughly 200 candles at each event. We, we purchase uh, one for the Northern Virginia commemoration, and here's our uh, 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 manager of our, uh, Tom Logie of our Maryland event in suburban Washington. And there's a nice lady, a, a survivor, but we uh, get the word out. We, uh, when people are leave the event, we hand everyone a yellow candle. It helps us leverage our donation to Holocaust survivors. We, we spend roughly $600 for the materials of the candles and the bags, et cetera. Uh, the stock generates goes directly to the uh, Jewish Social Services Agency's Holocaust Survivors Fund. Uh, we average about fourteen hundred dollars. So, in addition to giving more than six hundred dollars to help the survivors, we empower the participants who have just had a very meaning meaningful experience, and they go home that night to light the candle to observe Yom show with us and to give to DACA, they do, and it's more than this becomes a um, it, It's a great way to uh, build a, create a cause for your region. There's Bob with one of his, uh, a friend that he met from work. Uh, there's Jim Sloan with my wife in the background. Jim Sloan's from another club. But it's a good way to get uh, uh, clubs together they, to help uh, 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 distribute the candles when people are leaving the event. And uh, it's really built some beautiful relationships with, for us. Um, the Yellow Candle Loan Program, you've heard how it created uh, a very powerful club. They went to, uh, uh, Shari Tor was uh, just a bunch of sleepy guys playing bourbon, uh, drinking bourbon, playing poker every now and then. Now they're a force in the entire FJMC as far as I'm concerned. And you can use this program to attract new clubs to your membership. If you see the gentleman in the middle there, that's Alan Spiegel. Uh, we were able to recruit that club to Seaboard by offering them a forgivable loan. Uh, uh, Alan uh, practiced it uh, uh, very well. He, he used the uh, uh, concepts of the uh, best practices. He paid back every penny and they donated Sadaka hundreds of dollars to the religious school uh, their club is off the ground, and there they are 
at their second worldwide rap, none of this would have happened without the uh, forgivable loan that the region gave them that gave Allen the political capital he need, needed to induce his fellow members to affiliate with Seaboard and the FJMC. Uh, they see the value. The, you, you do not hear any whining about dues from these men. Uh, so the region, the way it works is uh, the region gives the club uh, a forgivable loan. We have a, an agreement that you can use, and we'll post that on the website. The, the club agrees first to Dr. Beck, or I did not make that change well, Greg, sorry, but to, to pay the loan back with their first proceeds, and the club agrees to uh, follow the best practices. Here are our participants. We haven't lost a dime. We have not lost a dime. This thing works each and every time. People uh, really, when they know that there's a loan and they're, they're on the hook, they, they try harder. It works. And now I'm going to give us, uh, we have a special announcement uh, from our president, or excuse me, our chair, Greg Gore, announcing our uh, promotion. Greg, are you ready? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, sure. We are now have uh, a, a new program within our program, honor roll, uh, and uh, you see that uh, we're asking people to strive to become uh, listed on the honor roll, be participants. You can start join the mission uh, and uh, just by the time in case. In the gold club, the club orders enough for 80% of the congregational things. Anyway, this is very self explanatory. It is now on the front page of, it's on the landing page of the, of www.fjmc.org in, in the lower left hand corner with the beautiful uh, graphic of the candle. Then we have the, uh, the qualify for honor roll. We encourage you all to. Have your clubs and regions qualify for the honor roll. We're going to be listing all the names on the, on the website in the categories. Uh, we'd like it to, to scroll. That we understand there may be some technical difficulties with that. We'll otherwise we'll, we'll have a link. And so again, I encourage you all to, to start uh, uh, having your clubs and regions uh, Partner together, and I get both discounts. Uh, they end at the, uh, the the sooner the better. Uh, uh, and uh, Bob Weinstein will certainly be speaking next a little bit about the operations. Uh, um, guys, join the Diamond Club. Order more candles than you have fam uh, units in your congregation. That's the club you want to be in. That's the most prestigious. And if you're going to get it to most of the families in your congregation or units, they'll get you the Platinum Club. You get on the board with the Gold Club. Diamond Club is where you want to be. Greg, anything else you want to add? Uh, wow. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody. I noticed we have 40 people. I wish uh, I didn't get everybody's name like I asked. I would like to have that. Uh, please email me at ggore at starpower.net. We really... I want to have your name so I can reach out to you. Thank you a little more personally. Uh, I encourage you to write me and Bruce uh, and Danny and Marty and so we can help you with, with your program <clears throat> and, and grow, grow the program. It has slacked a bit, but I can tell you there's never been a, a group as tight and as well organized as this and we've and we can't do it without you. We appreciate your enthusiasm and your contribution to the mission. Yes. Turn it back to Bruce. Greg, thank you. That was beautiful. And guys, the key to get getting into on the honor roll is to order your candles and pay for your candles. Do it tomorrow. Don't wait till December twentieth. Do it today. To go right now. And Colonel or Bob, are you with us? Bob, yes, Bob, I am. Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to see if I can do this right. Bob, you talk. Guys, the only thing you really need to know is that 800 number that connects you with Bob Weinstein.
that will he will solve any problems that you have. Call the colonel, Bob. What do you want to say? Else, do you want to tell him? Well, there's five ways to order candles. You can do it on the web. You can call on the phone to my 800 number. You can email me. You can fax me, or send it in the snail mail. The fastest way to get your orders in is to call me. Now, take it on the phone. Uh, the guide is in print. It looks beautiful. It shouldn't be in the mail within a week or so. It's going to be in this envelope. Does everybody see this envelope? On the envelope, it says, Attention, Yoma Show a Yellow Candle Chair. Attention, Remembrance Program Chair. R Men's Club President. The Clergy or Education Director. So it's some place, it'll be someplace in your synagogue. So get it, find it and get it. If you need another one, call me. We'll get you another one out. Bruce and Greg will be having some. I'll be sending it to them. And order early, gentlemen, because I have to know how many candles go to each warehouse. We don't want to undership them, and we don't want to overload them with candles. These warehouses are volunteers, and they don't have any room. So that's about it. Great, Bob, Colonel. Bob, can you download the program guide from the website? Yes, yes, yes. you can. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's supposedly on the website right now. It, it, yeah, it, but a lot of people like a hard copy. That's why we're mailing it out. It is. Bob, and I'm a sorry. lot of them, you know, we have 1,300 people on our mailing list that includes all the reform, MRJ, unaffiliates, schools, museums and they don't pick it up on the website. So we've got to get it in their hands to get orders. Bob, can I interrupt you? I'm, so, I'm sorry I came late. Can you share the 1-800 number with us again? 1-800, let me yeah. look it up. 1-800-391-7293. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And just call me after nine o'clock, not in standard time. Excellent, excellent. It's, that 800 number is really all you need. He's got all the answers. So, um, listen, guys, we're going to wrap up actually a few minutes early. And I just want to encourage you to order and pay for your candles. Order more candles than you have families in your synagogue that will land you on into the Diamond Club. That is where you want to be. Uh, we're, we have other plans for recognition. That's what uh, we volunteers get rewarded. We will recognize you for your superior contributions to the, our, our organization and also to your communities. Gentlemen, um, we could do good welfare, but it's not on the uh, agenda. I, it's been a long day. Greg wakes up early. Greg, I'm gonna give you the final word. What, Craig, final word, please. Well, just, again, I want to thank everybody. Uh, it, you can go to the website and copy the URL and send it to your clubs and for, for the URL for the, for the candle guide. It's real easy to do that. So you can get it out to all your clubs and it's easy to download. And uh, we will be having more publicity tools. We, we're just working on it. So again, thank you all for taking time out be with us on this vital mission. Thank you. Good night, gentlemen. Good night.